she'll start an auction as I bid me up. Yeah. So my grandmother married a barber in town, and I was like, I have no need to keep yeah. barber stuff. I need to get rid of it, so I would even be willing to do 40 for all of it. Morning. This is quite the collection you got. I think you've arrived. <laughs> I was about to say that too. <laughs> All these red strings are killer. That's that's just one set. Oh, you have more than one set? No, that's just one set. Gotcha, the whole thing is yeah, a set. With, um, that is so neat. It comes with extra track. Have a good day, thanks. Uh -huh. Morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Who's the musician? Um, nobody, unfortunately. Oh, really? That's <laughs> this too bad. Is all of our attempts to make them a If you've got a kid that's into Supreme there, and it's hundreds of dollars oh online. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> I'll start a pile if that's okay. I'll yeah, take all this. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Do you want to put it here? Let's go ahead and I'll take that so we can start putting her water on there. And then we'll just put it right down in the layer. Okay, or I think it would be right here. I'm trying to put it here. Yeah. Isn't that a find? The poster? Yes. So cool. What's the story on it? Uh, it was my mother-in-law's and she just had it forever. She was a big Elvis Presley fan. Oh yeah? That's the only story that's behind it. I wish there was a, a cooler story, but I mean, it's a find. You can't find I even looked it up like on eBay and you can't, that particular poster. I, I want to get on the guitars. Um, ten a piece. <sighs> I think I'm ready to settle up with you. Okay. You want your hangers back? Um, yeah, sure. No problem. I want to pay for the car, baseball cars. Um, I think there's a price on them. How much you pay for all of them? You make me an offer, mister. <laughs> How much you pay for them? Just whatever, whatever you have up there is the only thing. He's gonna do a hard bargain there. Yeah. 89, 94, 104. Does that sound right? Sounds right. Okay. I think it should be lots more. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> She'll start an auction as I bid me up. Yeah. You sure you? Oh, and you know what? You got all the submarine. I don't know if you care about this, but these bags, you can have the bags. Oh, sure. Them. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. What is supreme? Uh, it is very expensive, um, like hype wear that the, that the kids wear. They Thank started, you. Thank you. you. It started by, uh, it was started by skateboarders. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Thank you. Sure you don't want a bag? No, I'll be okay. I got a big one in the car. Throw it in. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Got it by yourself. 
okay, I guess. I'll take your uh, skis and your boots. I'll keep looking around. Okay, no, that's fine. See what else I can find. Yeah, those are my sons. If he decided he's a snowboarder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everybody starts with skis and then a lot of times I know, I switches can... over. Morning. Do you have any rackets? No, we How much are your jackets? Uh, five bucks. That's my wife. She kind of. No, she, Catherine. I think she said five. Oh, okay. Get your hanger back to you here. Oh, okay. I owe you 15. Okay. Sounds good. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Good luck with the sale. Take care. Yeah, you too. Can I start a pile? Sure. <laughs> yeah, let me set it right here. Yeah, just okay. set it right there. That'd be good. Thank you. Oh, that is so neat. The wise pig. Oh, yeah. What does he say? Save a penny yesterday, another save day to keep the wolf away. Yeah. So thrifty. My, I'm buying this. That is my, so neat. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. My husband collected a lot of things and then oh, yeah? to our sons a few and and my, our son is you know, you know, they just get to an age where they're collecting different things. And, sure, yeah. Okay. So you didn't add anything more, so I'm gonna get your barber stuff too. There's a story behind that, but I'm not keeping them. Uh, what's the story? So my grandmother married a barber in town and uh, after her husband died. And my mom and dad kept this stuff for years. Yeah. And I can't figure out why. Then they finally gave it to me. Oh, you figure out what to do with it. And I was like, I have no need to yeah. keep barber stuff, but if somebody <laughs> wants to use it for collectibles, oh, I yeah, think that's right. Sure. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Better than throwing it away. Do you have any of the uh, controllers for the video game stuff? Uh, no. Um, the only thing is we have this. Uh, oh, the connect that connect goes in here. Some, gotcha. Games in here. But now we have a new one. And I did have a few that I think somebody first bought those. I think they're ready. I have six dollars worth of books and four dollars oh. worth of DVDs. Okay. <laughs> um, so I owe you ten. And twenty-seven. And so twenty-seven. 37. Perfect. Let's see if I Here's can, forty. I don't know if I have a. Thank you. Yep. Good luck with the sale. Yeah.
Do you have the um, paintball guns? You bought that. Paintball guns are out there. They're in the, right here. They've only been used. They're only used for one year. Kind of ticks me off because they, they his, for their friends are like filthy rich and so they buy like a billion. And so they had to match. So I, the, you can see the boxes with the guns on them. I got two helmets. I got two um, of the tanks, but it got, they're probably empty. Hopefully they're empty. Hopefully we don't die. Um, and then he's got the cord that goes with the. Okay. Um, what are you asking for all of them? Uh, I was gonna do twenty-five for each, of the, like fifty for all of it. I need to get rid of it, so I would even be willing to do forty for all of it. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there. I just it's got the. Perfect. Here you go. I'll give you forty for the paintball stuff. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much. Thank you more. <laughs> Good luck with your sale. Thank you. I'm I was really excited to find this Sony CD player, which I thought was original in packaging, but the more I inspected it, it had been opened. And then upon further inspection, the battery compartment was just completely corroded out. So no chance this thing was going to work. I was pretty disappointed. How much your gloves? Um, I know, five for both? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Back at the house, I had a huge haul of stuff today. It's not even all on this table, but I'll go through this, and then I'll pull out the rest later and show you uh, the rest of what I got. I got this paintball lot. Uh, it's two markers, the helmets, um, you know, the hoppers, the CO tanks, all the stuff. Honestly, the money is in the markers. The helmets really don't have a whole lot of value. I don't think the hoppers have much value. CO2 tanks might have some. This A5 Tipman is going from like, I guess off from like 60 to 100. And then this 98 Customs from like 40 to 80. Prices are kind of all over the place, but since they have the boxes... Uh, she said they didn't use them much. I think there's some money to be made. I paid 40 for everything. I think I'll get around, I don't know, 120 150 maybe. Heads up, if you list these things, do not put the word gun in your title. Use paintball marker because um, I think eBay can flag you. Got this Mickey Mouse snow globe for five. Everything at this sale was cheap. I was buying all kinds of stuff. I didn't even open this up. I just went off the picture. Haven't been able to find the same one yet, but I'll keep uh, doing some research. Typically, these go for about 25 or 30 Got a bunch of books and movies there for 50 cents each. These are the Young Folks Library. They have a very cool Art Deco look to them. And when you look at the sold listings of these, people put the word staging in the title because um, either in movies or like if you're staging a house, uh, especially for like kids' rooms, these look really neat, just all in a line on a shelf. So um, I've got, what, like four bucks into them, five bucks into them, and they should bring about 30 plus shipping. A couple other books I took a chance on aren't really worth anything, but 50 cents a piece, still not too bad. I uh, got some movies just to keep for the kids. I uh, took a chance on this Tracks Through Time DVD. It's not really worth anything. Got this phone for a dollar. That is an absolute steal for an old rotary phone, especially one that has um, a color to it. The color ones always do better than just a black and white. Got this uh, cast iron piggy bank. This is a reproduction of an antique. 
Uh, there's one that was made in the 30s that has a marking on the back that goes for like 100 bucks. Um, these reproductions still go for about 20 but my uh, stepdad loves pigs, so I'm just going to give that to him. This is really interesting. This is old barber equipment. There's all kinds of stuff in here. This, I don't even know what this is. I'm guessing this is something that um, the barber would wear to wipe the razor. Like, you can kind of tell, like, there's some markings here. So, like, if he was shaving somebody... He would maybe uh, mark the razor and kind of clean it off. I could be completely wrong. I don't know what that is. So if somebody's watching knows what that is, correct me if I'm wrong. And there were some really old scissors that had the, um, had like these leather sheaths with them, which I thought was really interesting. So we got those right there. Um, here's another pair with the leather sheaths, Battle Creek. And then we've got some uh, straight razors. If you guys haven't done anything with straight razors... There can be some really good money in these. Even the real basic ones, you can typically get about $10, $15 for. Uh, but there's some that can bring a lot of money. I always look for the markings on there. So that one's Wedgeway, C, Mon. I have not sold enough of these uh, to know, you know the exact value of each of them. Let's see, Peter J. Michaels. Really clean too. But it's one of those things, if they're cheap enough, buy them. And then when you go to sell them, you're gonna learn a little bit and then you're gonna know to look out for them next time. So I got all this for $20. I am absolutely thrilled uh, with this stuff. I love finding the old antique stuff. I don't know that these have much value. How cool is this? Like you, you squeeze it and the blades go back and forth. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is just in really good condition. I don't even know what this is. This is a uh, dispenser of some sort. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, there's three straight razors, um, a bunch of scissors. So for 20 bucks, I definitely think there's money to be made. Got this Department 56 um, Bears in the Birch for a dollar. That's going for right around 25. Keep an eye out for the Department 56 stuff. It can bring some good money. A lot of times it's broken. So I always advise if you can get it cheap, do it. You know, if it's one of those things where it sells for 50 bucks and they want 25, I probably wouldn't do it because odds are it's either going to break in shipment or it's already broken. But if I can get it for like, you know, five, 10 bucks, I'll do it. It's, you know, it's always part of that equation of how much do you want to risk uh, when you're buying stuff. But yeah, keep an eye out for department 56. Got a couple gloves at one sale. This one is definitely an antique. Uh, it's Rawlings TM58. I don't know. I was hoping there might be a name in there. Uh, there might have been one at one point. It looks like it says Tandy, but I think that's just the um, style of glove that it is. And then this TP Pro Series Catcher's Mint that's really clean. I paid five for the pair. I should get 20 for this trapper and then probably 25 or 30 for the Catcher's Mint. All right, round two. I got these uh, Vocal AC20 skis. I really do not recommend buying skis. They're a pain to sell because if you try to take them to like a a sporting goods store, they'll only buy ones where the bindings are on the indemnified list. It's like a whole big thing. If they can't if it's on the list, they can't work on it for legal reasons. Um, so, but I'm just going to sell these local. I mean, I got it for five dollars. Uh, these skis typically new are going to run three to four hundred dollars. It's May, so it's not ski season in Cincinnati. Believe it or not, we do have some slopes. In Lawrenceburg, about 45 minutes away. So I think I'll find a buyer for them, but I'm probably gonna try some for like 30 or 40 bucks, real cheap. Just flip them on Facebook Marketplace quickly. Uh, but the boots I can put on eBay. Uh, these are Nordica. The bottoms do not look great, to be honest, but overall pretty good shape. $5, hard to go wrong. I should get 40 or 50 for those easily. Got this Elvis poster. Um, you guys saw me pull it out uh, on the video. It's very, very cool from the Acapulco movie. Uh, it says 64. I saw 63 on there. Just like she said, she tried to find something on eBay, couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. Um, but I figured for 35, I think worst case scenario, I'll make my money back. But there's a possibility of there uh, being some profit there. I got a ton of clothing. I know clothing is not fun. It's not the easy flips. There's work involved. But if you guys are out hitting garage sales and you're looking for things to flip and make money on, you are really doing yourself a disservice if you're not at least glancing at the clothing. I found this L.L. Bean uh, jacket. It's like a layer jacket for five. That should bring 40 pretty easily. And then here is all the Supreme stuff. I've heard about this brand for a pretty long time and I've never found any of it. And today was the first time. Uh, and there was a lot of pieces. It's... um. 
some sweatshirts, some t-shirts, some hoodies, just really, really good pieces. And I paid between five to $10 each. Uh, so here is a blue one, 94. It looked like that was going for right around 40 or 50. Here's just a plain t-shirt. From what I could see, the t-shirts were bringing around 35. T-shirt with a pocket. Here is a hoodie. This looks like the uh, Marl Marlboro logo. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Yeah, Supreme. I don't know if it's got anything on the back. No, it doesn't. Um, the hoodies I saw were selling between like $100 to $200. Um, this one right here, Missoni Supreme. Uh, somebody has one listed for $200. Uh, I couldn't find the same one sold. When I searched Missoni Supreme hoodie, there was like maybe five active and like four sold. And uh, different colors and patterns and things too. But yeah, this stuff is all legit. Uh, she even had the bags <laughs> that she had bought the stuff and was going to sell the bags separately. But she's like, yeah, you can just go ahead and take the bags. Uh, this is a cool pattern. I don't know what this is. Is that a Smurf? Oh, that's cool. And then we've got this black hoodie here. Yeah, I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of Supreme. And I think I paid maybe 60 bucks for it. I paid 104 for everything. The poster was 35. Uh, I got this other jacket for five. I got this Duluth piece. I think this was 10. Yeah, I think the Duluth piece was 10. Um, it's a fleece jacket with the tags. I should get 40 for that pretty easily. But yeah, I think this Supreme stuff is just going to be an absolute home run. And then I got this uh, Burton Living Lining jacket. Burton's a snowboard brand. Um, they make snowboards and snowboard boots, and I guess they make clothing too. You might have noticed I also included a video of a sale that I hit yesterday. It was just one sale, and I posted it on my Instagram story that I was like waiting for them to open. And a lot of people were like, well, did you find anything? So I thought I'd include that video as well. Even though I didn't buy anything, she had a lot of cool stuff. I really wanted that Cincinnati Reds train set, but I just didn't want to pay $175 for it. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.